So cobalamin is the technical name for vitamin B12. And there's often a little prefix before, which reflects what type of cobalamin it is. And if you wanted to see what this looks like in a sort of um, chemistry format, basically vitamin B12, the molecule has a fundamental structure. And then there's one extra spot where there can be a little add-on. And in cyanocobalamin, the add-on is a carbon and nitrogen. And in methylcobalamin, it's a methyl group. Cyanocobalamin is actually a synthetic form of vitamin B12. It was first synthesized in the 1950s. It is very stable, meaning it's pretty easy to, you know, keep on the shelf in a way or in supplements. It's inexpensive and it has been used routinely by health professionals for decades. So this is a form of vitamin B12 that we have a lot of experience with and it overall has a very good track record. But there are other forms of vitamin B12. And actually, if you were to look at the vitamin B12 that is in meat, you would find one of three naturally occurring forms. And the form that is most commonly used right now as a supplement is methylcobalamin. Now, this can be more expensive often than cyanocobalamin, and it is generally going to be a little less stable as a supplement. <laughs> 